What's up guys, Zergrizz here and welcome to the cargo tutorial. I'll be going over this with the help of Dino, Mexi, and Kit. We got a lot of things to show you guys. Uh, this map was really tough to do just because, you know, it's really a basic bland map. But we did our best, so I think you guys will enjoy. So first thing we're going to show you guys is the uh, First Blood Ballistic Knife to the Tunnel, which is really cool. Here in this corner, wedge yourself in, pull out your Ballistic Knife. And right where the two grays, you got a light and a dark gray there on that top level. That's your uh, your up, down, and your left, right. You want your left part of your uh, crosshair touching that white line just off to the side. So you can see it easily here in the replay, and that's going to bust them right as they go up the crate. We tried it from the other side, but there's a crate in the way, so we couldn't do it in reverse. But we do have two first bloods uh, to the flag. So over here to A, you're going to see a little plant out uh, on the sidewalk. You're going to stand right in front of it shooting your ballistic knife straight up towards a flag and that's gonna land directly on top of the flag really nice first blood and it does take them a while to get to a so it's a good chance you get you know at least two maybe even more so uh, definitely a nice little little flag save there and we're gonna go on to the reverse now over to seaside and right out of spawn you're gonna see this uh, little little uh, turn arrow you're gonna stand right on top of the turn arrow looking straight up to sea flag check your ballistic knives and again that's going to land almost directly on top of the flag this one is a little bit closer to the enemy spawn so you know you might get one or two and that's probably going to be it but a flags where it's at man it's gravy and that ramp is just amazing so now we're going to go on to shot spots we got a couple little things to show you guys you may or may not know right here you can get up on the ledge jump up here and uh, you can use this for a couple different things you could use this for uh, first blood you know towards the center um, or you could use it maybe in search just to kind of throw them off guard. They would not expect to see somebody up there probably. Uh, you got a nice little head glitch over these boxes here. Uh, you can get on top of the ambulance and do about the same thing uh, as you could up on that rail, except for the rail you're just kind of more disguised, I guess. Um, if you come over here, you can get uh, up on top of this box here and kind of jump from corner to corner to the red set. And then you can uh, just crouch down behind here to watch C flag stand up or whatever you need to do to to improve your vision. Uh, you got little roundabouts all around the place that uh, you can use for kind of like side glitches or whatnot. Up here you got a nice uh, hard point. So what you can do, again you can use this in hard point, domination, search, pretty much anything. You can jump to this ledge, kind of put yourself back in this corner, and again catch people way off guard because that's just not some place that you would normally look. So definitely a nice little shot spot there. Right here, you've got the little vantage point to uh, the, the spawn over there on A side and domination. You get on top of the car and on top of these green boxes. Again, nice little vantage point, catch them off guard. Uh, you can also jump from there on top of the crate, but I'm not going to. I'll get to that here in a second. Um, you got your alternate entrance onto this hard point here. And uh, nice little vantage point over this whole area, but you can actually use this barrel when that crane is picking up uh, those crates to still see inside the window. So kind of keep that in mind. This little door you can jump on to catch people coming through underneath you or possibly that hard point we were just at. Uh, maybe just like look back over the ledge. If we come back through uh, towards the enemy spawn over here at A, you get on top of this one. You can see over towards the area over there in search. be a nice place to watch for uh, a first blood shot. A little hole right here. I don't even know if you can shoot through it, but we were looking at different angles and we just thought it looked cool, so <laughs> we just decided to put it in. Back here, I kind of feel I'm more or less showing you guys the map because there's not a whole lot back here. Uh, there are just a couple of vantage points. You can watch the hole there. Um, this kind of just overlooks A and the window area. You can get on top of this crate here, prone out, and you can see like right through the door and the window. So if the hard point's in there and you want to like kind of shoot into it, I guess, to kind of clear it out beforehand and be a good spot to do it. Here you can jump on top of the box off the fork truck and you've got a nice little shot spot over there to that hard point. And like I said, the hard point in here, a lot of people like to sit. You know, they'll be behind the desk or up on the chair. Uh, sometimes they'll just be looking out the window. It's a good vantage point in that window. A lot of times people will sit in here, maybe up on top of the sink. So just kind of basically showing you guys the map, showing you guys some uh, different uh, angles and stuff. I try to avoid this bottom area here. There's just so many different angles that people can cover down in the bottom of this. When the hard point's the first hard point inside this building upstairs, I just try to avoid this bottom because there's just so many shot spots. So try to use the alternate entrance into the window or use the stairs if you can. You know, if you can't, then I guess you're going to have to go through the bottom, but uh, <laughs> it's horrible. And then uh, here we go with the crate. So you can get on there, pull a little 360 or whatever you want. And last but not least is the Search and Destroy Challenge. Now, this is not mine. This was actually brought 
uh, by Bomb Defense Daily. He's like, yo, dude, I got this sick, sick ass Bomb Defend on cargo. So that's why we ended up doing this map. But um, this one's a little bit more difficult because you're going to have to come back. So it just says hold X to plant explosives, and you want to go right behind the number four, right on top of the number four. Um, you're going to plant your bomb, and it's actually going to hit about right there. I'm shooting my ballistic knife, so you want to pull them away from the bomb as far as possible. Like, that's basically the goal. Uh, you're going to come all the way back into the spawn over here, and you're going to wedge yourself in this corner right here. It's not actually where the green box is, where the orange plate is right in front of me. There's a corner. And then on the third plate to the right, you want to put your top crosshair in the upper left V and throw your combat axe. You have to also watch and make sure that the uh, that little spinning thing up top doesn't fuck you over. But <laughs> anyway, uh, if you're the first person to hit this in the ranked game, make sure you send me a message with a link to your videos so I can send you your 1600 Microsoft points, like and favorite your videos. Special thanks to Bomb Defense Daily for coming on and helping me out with this. We had a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something that maybe you did not yet know. So that's about it. Nope. Deuces.